As we continue our videos going through these vintage original Air Jordan 1s from 1985 that I currently have listed on eBay, we've now come to the white and gray pair. Let's have a look at them. They're so beautiful. I love this pair of shoes because it's just so plain, so simple, and just so clean. They're brand new with their original box with the Jumpman hang tag. And they're just in remarkable condition for being 34 years old. So I really love the white and gray Air Jordan 1 because it represents so much of what basketball shoes used to look like before the Air Jordan 1 came along and changed the game. Basketball shoes in the early 80s were really plain and simple. They were white and gray or white and black, sometimes white and navy blue, but this shoe right here really represents a lot of what basketball shoes used to look like before the Air Jordan 1 came along with its bright provocative colors and just changed everything. I want to move the shoes out of the way really quick and show you this book that I've broken out in a few videos before. It's called Soul Provider by Scoop Jackson. It came out in the early 2000s. Actually, when it originally came out, I was in law school and I used to read this book underneath my desk during law school classes. My favorite part about the book is The Way End, which actually has an index year by year of all the different Nike basketball shoes. So here you can see the 70s, starting in 72, with the first low top basketball shoe, which was the Nike Bruin, and then the first high top basketball shoe, was the Nike Blazer. And actually, over here in the 70s, there were a lot more pops of color, especially with the red that you see in here, than what you see in the early 80s. The early 80s, the basketball shoes were just plain and simple, white and black, white and gray, white and blue, sometimes royal blue, sometimes navy blue, but that was about as fancy and colorful as basketball shoes got. And then you flip the page here to 86, 87, 88, 89, and you can see all the colors that are starting to hit basketball shoes, really starting down here with the original Air Jordan. And then, you know, we keep flipping the pages and the rest is history. So this book breaks down the first 30 years of Nike basketball. It's phenomenal and I highly recommend picking up a copy. So let's get back to these beautiful shoes. And I wanna show you some of the details from the box before we even get into the shoes too much. So you'll notice down here the product code is 4295. And you may recall that on the white, black, and red Air Jordans, it was 4280. On the black and red, 4281. And on the black and royal, it was 4282. So now, on our fourth video, we have our first significant jump from 4282 to 4295. Now, Nike actually released more than 20 different colors of the original Air Jordan 1s. And so that explains that big gap. Not just the six pairs that I have listed, but there's more than 20 different original Air Jordan 1s. There's a couple of Instagram collectors that I know of that have the complete sets. One of them's name is Dylan Ratner, and another one's Instagram name is Sunshining7. I'll put a link in the description to this video so you can go and follow them and check out their collections. They have the most remarkable collections of OG ones that I know of. There might be other people too. 
Uh, if you guys know of anyone with a huge OG Air Jordan 1 collection, please leave a comment below. I'd love to check out their collection. I'm sure other people would, too. So, anyways, 4295 Air Jordan High. Remember, the original Air Jordan 1s just said Air Jordan High on the box. They didn't say Air Jordan 1. And check this out. White Nat. Okay. So, so many people refer to these shoes as the white and neutral gray Air Jordan 1s. But actually, they're white and natural gray. And actually, in the past couple weeks, since I've been posting a lot of pictures of these and saying that the sale is coming, you wouldn't believe how many people are saying, man, those neutral grays, or I want to get those neutral grays, but they're actually natural gray. My wife and I like to joke that they're named after her. Her name's Natalie and she goes by Nat, so the box does say Nat. But anyway, the shade is natural gray. You'll notice that the shoes are laced up. Originally, Air Jordan 1s came unlaced from the factory. One of the lace colors was down here, and then a second set of extra laces was up here on the top eyelet. But in this case, this pair only comes with one set of laces. I presume that the second set of laces would have been gray, but this is the way that I got them, and this is the way that they'll be on eBay and the way that you'll get them if you're the lucky winner. Let's have a look at this one right here. Got the original Jumpman hang tag on there. I just love how plain and simple and clean this colorway is. They've never been retroed. The three other videos that we've done, the white, black, and red, the black and red, and the black and royal, those colors have been retroed many times in many different iterations, but the plain and simple white nat gray has never been retroed. If you look in here, you can see they're size 11, date of manufacture 85, and then 08 and 10 would be the months. So August to October, and then the ST-P represents the factory. Got Nike Air on the tongue right there. Isn't this just such a clean pair of shoes? I mean, just so simple. So there they are. They're listed on eBay right now. The auction ends this coming Sunday evening. They're listed alongside five other pairs of OG Air Jordan 1s for a total of six pairs. I brought them all to Charlotte, North Carolina for the NBA All-Star festivities. They were on display at an event put on by eBay and High Snobiety. And then the six pairs of OG ones have hit eBay. There's a ton of interest in them. If you're interested in checking out the auctions, I'll have a link in the description to this video below. And if you plan on bidding on the shoes, best of luck. Man, they're so clean. All right, well, we still got a couple more videos to come, breaking down more of these original Air Jordans. I hope you enjoy the videos and good luck with the auction.